Here, babe. You just missed a car. As soon as me and Ben just step out. What y'all got going on today? I'm still getting stalked in my neighborhood. Do I have to say allegedly? Is that something that still has to be said? I'm getting stalked in my neighborhood allegedly. I'm sure they deny everything. <sighs> anyway. It's 7.10. We might see the school bus. But I'm running a little late today. I want to go to the zoo. I want to do my yoga video. Which apparently I have to do while I'm getting stalked in the neighborhood. Oh, you know. Let's go, baby. They live there allegedly. Allegedly. I cannot confirm that. So. Who's that? Anyway. What's your going on today? I saw Elisa Stefanik, who saves chocolate milk, was on Caitlin Collins. Caitlin, did you even ask her about chocolate milk? Did you, Caitlin? What a useless journalist if she didn't. How much she get paid? Not one question on chocolate milk. Tells you everything you need to know. <laughs> Allegedly. But I'm sure she asked for it, so it's okay. Zoom. Don't slow down. It's not like this is a school bus route. At any moment in time. It's not like there's going to be a school bus here. Speed on up. My new coffee maker works really well. If you're wondering. So I've had a lot of coffee recently. <laughs> All times of day. For example, this is from uh, what I brewed last night. I had a cup. In my uh, San Antonio Aquarium coffee mug there. I wonder what's going on with that. Because I think there's for profit aquariums in which that, uh, I'm not sure if you can buy stock in or, or what's going on there. So, I'm from San Antonio. I don't know if you know this. I got asked that question twice yesterday at the rodeo. Where are you from? San Antonio. So. It makes sense if I'm from San Antonio, I got a lot of money that I invest stock in these places, such as the San Antonio Aquarium. So who owns it? Can I buy it from you? <laughs> Let's see how that goes. So I'm the owner and CEO of the San Antonio Aquarium. While well, Caitlin Collins gets to interview Elisa Stefanik and not ask her about chocolate milk. You know. Is the chain of events that might happen? I'm not sure. Anyway. I go to see today. <laughs> 
If you're wondering, the street lights on. I wonder when they get turned off. Maybe 7.15? What's it? 7.15. So. I'm just wondering that because I, I think the city pays for the street lights, right? It's not like we have a homeowners association or anything that runs on to. I guess it's over there. You can't see it. Through the trees. There it is. So it's not like we have a homeowners association or anything. That's what I'm wondering about it. employees get a raise oh it has to be with the bond package does it why it didn't have anything to do with the fact that we have two waste trucks in this neighborhood on Fridays so I have that to look forward to Minjo. so been wondering about street lights been wondering about <laughs> uh, the water and not to be confused with the storm drain because I just think these wow everybody uses these things you're in a neighborhood every neighborhood uses it do y'all think there's a car at Warriors Creek that's Honey Creek right there This is when I say, you know, if you're, uh, got a little camera up there, maybe on that light, can you see it? Because it's on. It's behind the cars. Nope. Okay. It's on. It's facing the other way, the other street. So, yeah, these things. Everybody has it. I always see the workers working on stuff like that. At least in this neighborhood. When I lived at 10 4, 15 Ethan Allen, it didn't happen and definitely not as frequently. Of course, it was all the way at the end of the driveway, which was kind of like from here to maybe past that white car. So if it did happen, you know, I, I was really never in the space to like pay attention to that. I didn't have a bedroom window outside right in the front door. You know what I mean? And our garage uh, opened up to a green belt in the back. Not, of course, to this. Or what you just saw in Swandale. So, these are all things I've been thinking about since minimum uh, 2021. So, if you catch the live stream, I know I've mentioned. Uh, and I wasn't in the best mood. That... Uh, there's nowhere in that house over there. Well, you can't see it right now. There's nowhere in the house that I live, which is in that back alley, where you can't see a neighbor's house. So I stay in the living room, I can see a neighbor's house. I stand in, I think my mom's room, my mom's closet, and the bathroom. Was the only places. Uh, where I couldn't see a neighbor outside a window. So you went in 10, 4, 15 Ethan Allen house. There was a kitchen window, a dining room uh, window, but we never really stayed in the dining room. It wasn't like a popular area. And my dad's office. Uh, there was a bedroom that faced um, the colder sack, but it was like high up on a hill. So there was that elevation to it. What time is it? 7.19. But it should be here any minute. I mean, sometimes it gets here at 7.30, but yesterday it was here at like 7.20. So 10 minutes. I wonder what happened there. And before 7.20. And when again, when I lived at the 10, 4, 15 Ethan Allen house, uh, the bus never drove... Uh, we lived at the end of the cul-de-sac. The bus never drove past my house. 
there was a stop sign down the street and it stayed over there. We had to walk over to that bus stop. Benju, let's go, Benju. Oh no, now the bus gonna run him over. Benju, let's go. See him. Let's go, Benju. How cute is that puppy? Oh my gosh. Anyway, I call him Neighborhood Watch. And I also call him the Super Sniffer from that one show. I'm killing it. I had a weird dream last night. Let's go, Minnie. Uh, but anyway, in that one show called Killing It, I think it's on Peacock. Um, <laughs> they have a pig. <laughs> uh, instead of like having a German Shepherd for the police, they have a pig. And he always he has a really great sense of smell. <laughs> so, I call Ranjo a super sniffer. <laughs> anyway. There, if, if you're wondering, they're like, you know... The premise of that show is like killing anacondas, but they look really fake. They don't bother to make them look real at all, so I appreciate that <laughs> part. Because if they made them look real, and if it wasn't a funny show, I'd be like, I don't know, I'm still killing anacondas. Anyway. <sighs> I had a dream last night that me and my husband went to Petco. <laughs> And he was uh, looking at all the fish, <laughs> deciding which ones to get. It was a great dream. <laughs> I know they're going after that tree. I just know it. <laughs> but you need to fix your butterfly garden first over there, huh? <laughs> Anyways, I had a dream that uh, me and my husband went to Petco. Um, he was wearing a suit, didn't have a tie, in case you're wondering. Uh, and then I dreamt, Benjo, let's go! And then I dreamt, um, Benjo! That, uh, I was in a different house, I don't know whose house it was. And, um, my mom and Kimmy was there, Indy was there, Benjo was there, um, on top of Indy, <laughs> which is so funny because last time I, this past week when I went to visit Kimmy, I said, Indy, would you let Benjo uh, ride on your back? So I had a dream about that. <laughs> and uh, we went outside uh, and there was a snake crawling along the fence there. Like a big snake, like a python or anaconda. And I was trying to get Benjo back in the house. So, it is 7.23. The school bus must be late on um, Friday. Old neighborhood watch there. Anyway. I guess I'm gonna download this on YouTube because um, I'm about to do my YouTube video. Uh, thanks for walking with me and Banjo. I hope you have a good Friday, good weekend, all that. What did you drink? Anyway, I'll talk to you later.